Hi there, <laughs> Will here, and uh, today, another dawn patrol. A very windy one, because there's a storm rolling in, actually. I've got a special guest here with me today as well. <laughs> a fellow by the name of Ben, who's uh, been watching the channel for a while now, and has come all the way from America to hang out with me. So I figured the first thing I'd do is make him wake up really early in the morning with me and see if we can find the dawn light. We've uh, done a decent amount of cruising around this morning already. The light is fairly disappointing, to be honest, because there's meant to be a storm rolling in, so these clouds are kind of blocking all of dawn. And uh, whilst the clouds themselves are nice, it's actually not that great for pictures, for me. I don't know. My lens is too short, basically. So we're gonna keep cruising around and see if we can find something to photograph that isn't clouds. I decided to uh, bring Ben to the spot where I made uh, a photograph of the fireman on the hill in that fire video. And uh, looking at it, it kind of looks cool now. So I'm going to try to recreate that photograph and uh, put them next to each other and see what things look like. Obviously, there's a big difference in the trees on this side over here because they were blowing really hard in the wind on that day. So they're going to be slightly to the left in this picture as opposed to where they are in the other one, but besides that, I think I've matched things up fairly nicely, so I guess we'll see. Watch out for that. <laughs> this uh, spot actually showed up briefly in uh, the fire video. You may not have noticed it because it wasn't in it uh, for a super long time, but I made a picture of this hill of grass, but it had all been burnt out, whereas normally it looks like this with uh, the wheat situation and the softness to it. So I think it'll be interesting to compare those two frames. I don't actually have that one on my phone, so I haven't really been able to accurately match it up, but this one should be vaguely similar. Pigeon harassment patrol. <laughs> Set things to infinity. We're all friends, we're all friends, we're all friends. Not friends! That might be quite cool. It might be terrible, but uh, we'll see. <sighs> We're definitely leaning uh, more into the side of things being terrible than uh, nice on that pigeon <laughs> photograph because they were sitting on the edge of the hill, as you saw, and I expected them to fly up and away, but uh, they flew down and away. And <laughs> thus, I got a lovely picture of uh, some clouds and a lopsided cityscape at the very bottom. Unfortunate, but uh, outside of that, there are some Dawn Patrol pictures I really like. I think uh, I'll talk more about them after this next little segment. Where nature's going to fail me again, because uh, I spent like 20 solid minutes trying to chase down some bees and they kept getting blown away by the wind, but you'll see that now. Where is the look of love Where is the look of love
I made some photographs I really like uh, on this dawn patrol mission again. It seems waking up very early in the morning nets good pictures, even if the light is terrible, which it really was, unfortunately. I'm probably going to end up going back to Chapman's Peak and uh, the Sentinel, which is what the, that spire of rock was, some other time for dawn to just see if I can get something to hit it as it comes over the mountain instead of being blocked by the clouds. But I'm quite happy with that picture anyway. and. Uh, the landscape version of it as well. They turned out really nice. That seascape is also quite cool. The light was uh, super interesting in the clouds. There's like little beams of pink. And I was surprised how nicely I matched up the fire photographs too. All in all, it was a good time. And uh, a big thank you to Ben once more for hanging out all the way from Seattle. And on the print giveaway front, uh, Mr. Chronic Fish has won for the international front. And locally, Ironically, the uh, first person that showed up was Maya, but uh, I cannot give Maya the print because she's got access to more than enough prints. So I went and uh, chose someone else who I hope is a uh, South African called Tian. And Tian, if you aren't South African, my friend, I'm afraid to say I'm gonna have to give it to someone else who I'll just choose based off the knowledge that I know they're South African. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, thank you so much to my Buy Me A Coffee members for supporting the channel. Many exciting things are to come in the not too distant future as a result of them. And uh, I'll see you next week. It's my birthday next Wednesday, so uh, there might be a delay in next week's video, but we'll see. I'm gonna try and uh, stick to Thursday as always. And I'll see you then. Thank you.